കുട്ടിക്കാലത്ത് ഫയൽമാനാകണമെന്നാണ് കുട്ടിക്കാൽ പിന്നെ എഴുത്തുകാരനാകണം അതിന് കാരണം ഞാൻ വൈക്കം ബി ജെ സ്കൂൾ പഠിക്കുമ്പോഴേ വൈക്കത്തെ അക്ഷണിക്ക് പുസ്തകങ്ങൾ കച്ചവടക്കാർ വരും അപ്പൊ എന്റെ സ്നേഹന്മാരുടെ വീടിന്റെ വരാന്തയിലാണ്ട് കച്ചവടം അതെനിക്കൊരു നോവൽ എടുത്തു തരും വായിക്കാൻ നാലുമണിക്ക് ഞാനത് രാത്രി മുഴുവൻ ഇരുന്ന് വായിക്കും ഞങ്ങളുടെ വീട്ടിലെ അങ്ങനെ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി നിറ്റോടിക്കുന്ന ശബ്ദം കേട്ടാണ് വായന നടത്തുന്നത് Prominent Personalities of Kerala Vaika Muhammad Bashir Vaika Muhammad Bashir was a Malayalam fiction writer from the state of Kerala in India. He was a humanist, freedom fighter, novelist and short story writer. He is noted for his path-breaking, disarmingly down-to-earth style of writing that made him equally popular among people. literary critics as well as the common man he is regarded as one of the most successful and outstanding writers from india translations of his works into other languages have won him worldwide acclaim his notable works include balikala sakhi patumeda aad madilugal and etc he was awarded the padma shri in 1982 He is fondly remembered as the Bepur Sultan. Bashir born in Taliyolaparamb Kottayam district. He was the eldest son of his parents. His father was in the timber business as a contractor. But the business did not do enough for his large family to live in anything approaching luxury. After beginning his education at the local Malayalam medium school, he was spent to the English medium school in Wycombe, five miles away. While at school, he fell under the spell of Mahatma Gandhi. He started wearing khadar inspired by the Swadeshi ideals. When Gandhi came to Wycombe to participate in the Wycombe Satyagraha, Bashir went to see him. He managed to climb on the car in which Gandhi traveled and touched his hand. A fond memory Bashir later mentioned in many of his writings. He used to visit Gandhi Satyagraha Ashram at Wycombe daily. In the book Orma Kurip, he has mentioned that he touched Gandhiji and he held Gandhiji's wrist. And at the evening he told to his mother, Umma, I touched Gandhi and also he was punished for being late that morning. He resolved to join the fight for an independent India. leaving the school to do so while he was in the fifth form bashir was known for his perfectly secular attitude and he treated all his religions with respect though he used to make comments about other religions in his writings and used to address his friends as hindus or even by using their caste names reference to his work manna and shanka nobody even felt an insult because of that since there was no active independence movement in travancur or kochi being princely states he went to malabar to take part in the salt satyagraha in 1930 his group was arrested before they could participate in the satyagraha bashir was sentenced to 3 months imprisonment and sent to kannur prison he became inspired by stories of heroism by revolutionaries like bhagat singh sukhdev and rajguru who were executed while he was he was in kannur jail having left kerala he embarked upon a long journey that took him across the length and breadth of india and to make many places in asia and africa for 7 years doing whatever work that seemed likely to keep him from starvation his occupations ranged from that of the loom fitter fortune teller cook newspaper seller fruit seller sports goods agent accountant watchman shepherd hotel management to living as the ascetic 
with Hindu saints and the Sufi mystics in their hermitages in Himalayas and in the Ganges Basin. Following their co- customs and practices for more than five years, there were times when with no water to drink, without any food to eat, he came face to face with death. Then he made a career as a writer, initially publishing the works himself and carrying them to home to sell, to sell them. He ran to bookstalls in Arunagulam, Circle Bookshop, book house and later Bashir's bookstore. Once India achieved control of its destiny after obtaining independence from British rule, he showed no further interest in active politics. Though concerns over mortality and politics integrity are present all over his works, well into his forties, he surprised many of acquaintances by marrying a woman much younger than him and settling down to a life of quiet domesticately with his wife and two children on the southern edge of Korikot. New Applications On Bashir named Bashir Malayalathinde Sultan is now available as an iPad application which includes ebooks of all the works of the author animation of his prominent works like Pathumeda Ade and the audiobook special dictionaries encloses words used by Bashir sketches of characters made by renowned artisans and the rare photos among others thank you